Okay, so what we have here is the Snap-on LS2000 Dual Trace Scope. And it's a pretty good unit. I remember, I think I paid like $2,000 for this thing like 20 years ago. Anyway, the um, problem with some of this older equipment is that it had these proprietary batteries in it which you can sometimes get offline I think they're around $35 uh, but they're really hard to find uh, I was getting some from snap-on over the years and um, I think they were like 40 bucks or something but um, it comes to the point where snap-on doesn't really want to uh, support these old units anymore but these are great scopes I mean I've used this scope recently for um, audio work in the audio system I was putting in to check the distortion and the uh, distortion to various levels of volume and whatever and it worked out really good so it's a dual tray scope and a good unit but you can apply this to any uh, unit that you want to do so you have this problem of you can't get the battery it's maybe a 5 volt battery 6 volt battery 7 volt battery and uh, what do you do so my solution to that is I put a battery pack on the back I went in and I cut the wires on the bad battery like one of these so you'll know what's positive and negative negative. and I bought one of these packs on I think it was eBay from China and it took a while to get it <clears throat> they sell them uh, in like a three pack two pack four pack six pack whatever and it just happened to be a six volt battery that I was replacing so the five pack was perfect and I ran them in series so they're uh, 1.2 volts a piece coming up to six volts I don't think that has to be precise but anyway I cut a little hole in the unit here ran my wire through and here you have a pack so now you can charge it whenever you want on an exterior charger or you can use the original charger that came with the unit but I think it's probably better to charge it outside and these batteries are probably way way better than what originally came they probably last three times as long I didn't check the capacity uh, for making this video but I'm sure they're way way better and last longer and you'll get good life out of the unit now um, this is a, a really nice scope that you can you can use like this you can I actually fit this thing into the casing uh, it doesn't fit perfect but I mean you have to be careful when using a scope but this applies to any electronic device that you have that you have a battery issue with uh, you can basically do the same thing I mean I don't want to lose a two thousand dollar scope and it does the same thing that any other scope does um, so here it is on the battery voltage it works perfect um, I use it on battery voltage and I'm sure it'll last a long time although it, it lasted during the duration of what I was doing um, so it's a great idea a cheap fix I think it basically costs like 12 13 dollars for the door cell batteries on Amazon and then you can get these um, these here cases for your batteries off of eBay you gotta look for them but they take a while to get but there's really no soldering involved you you know but if it was a situation where you had a solder you just find out which the positive and negative and you solder it in so um that's basically it um i hope this fix works for you in your good equipment that you don't want to get rid of for a battery issue uh any kind of thing that you have that has some kind of battery like this in it this is a perfect fix it's very inexpensive and it works terrific so Thanks for watching. Hope it works.